Thank you for clicking on this tutorial. My name is Benny Fink and I'm going to help you to copy your files even when you have no administrator permission. I got this hard drive, put some files on it, brought it with me at my laptop and I want to copy for some of those files on my laptop and I get this. I looked it up in Windows. You need to provide administrator permission and they give here all kinds of ways to fix it. But that just didn't help. I kept getting this message. You need to provide administrator permission. And I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to provide it. So what I thought, well, I need to go to another system that works outside Windows, which doesn't see this strange security. So I thought of Linux. You know why Linux? Because I can boot up my computer on Linux without having to install it. To get Linux, you go to this website, you download Ubuntu Desktop, it's for free. And when you download it, it puts an ISO file on your computer. So you can put it on a DVD or a USB. I prefer USB. And to do that, you need the Rufus 2.18 application that will put, make your USB bootable. To install Linux on USB stick, you need a USB stick with at least 2 GB. I have 4 and you need to program Rufus. I will put the link down in the comments. First you have to make sure that you have the right device. You see here it's the 4 GB drive G general. USB flash. Then you have to look for the ISO image which you downloaded from Linus website and here it is. Open. Then you say start. ISO is what we want. Say OK. Then you get the warning he's going to erase all the data on your USB stick to make a bootable Linux system. Say OK. Then after some time the whole bar is filled green and it says ready. You push close and you reboot your PC with the USB stick in the USB. Make sure your computer is set to bootable on USB, otherwise you will just start up Windows again. When in seconds this will appear, different flavors, you can scroll through them by using the arrow keys. But the one you want is try Ubuntu without installing. Because you don't want to install it, we want to leave Windows on this machine. So you push enter. And then it will load the Linux into your computer's memory without affecting the hard drive. And then you'll be able to copy your files. Because there's no strange admin protection in Ubuntu. Bang, there it is. You want to make sure that you hook up the drive to your device and you can find all the devices here on the right. You have to scroll a little bit down. Down here you can see my passport, that's the external hard drive. Click double on that. It's opening it. There it is, Echo Runner Contour would not copy. You click left on it, click right. Then you get like Windows copy. You go to the right hard drive. That's this one. And you just say paste. And then without any problems about admin, it's copying the files to your want to drive. So this is how to bypass the admin security of Windows. So it's here up here in on your drive. Now you have to shut down the system. You click up here and you say shut down. Then you ask do you want to um, restart? Yes we want to restart. 
So now we booted up in Windows again. Let's see what happened with the file, echo runner contour. It's on the D drive. Yeah, it's on top here. This is the file I copied in Linux from my external hard drive to my internal drive, which was not possible before because of the Windows admin, but via Linux, it was possible to do. Well, thank you for watching this tutorial. When you have any questions, please leave them. Have a nice day.